I also take this opportunity to welcome the Minister of State for Higher Education to this chamber. The minister who holds the master key to sustain development in Cameroon. Your Excellency, as we move towards takeoff in 2035, the higher education sector must play a pivotal role in this journey to make Cameroon a strong industrialized nation. Education is the key to development. Cameroon is depending on the universities to turn out relevant and impactful graduates with the skills, knowledge, and disposition needed to meet the requirements of the nation. The university is the powerful institution which grooms the agricultural scientists, social scientists, policy makers, business leaders, entrepreneurs, public servants, etc. It is an established fact now that the PhD program have been suspended in all state universities in the country. This action could be a signal that all is not well in this sector. Is this suspension suggesting that the quality of the PhD our universities are producing now is falling as has been insinuated in many quarters some indications seem to agree that there is increasingly falling standards in the PhD programs. It is this program that provides capacity and sustainability of university education. Is the suspension of the PhD program a strategy to address the quality issues? If so, how? And what are you doing to ensure the quality of PhDs from the private institutions? What are the strategies in place to address falling standards and lecturers' commitments? Suspension of the program is not enough. To strengthen our universities, research must be prioritized. What is your ministry doing to ensure quality research, which is imperative to address development challenges? <coughs> research in science, technology, innovation is the engine that will take us to attain the 2030 SDGs. <coughs> the lack of adequate infrastructure and an enabling study environment leads to poor performance in both the PhD program and other schools of the university. The lecturers and professors form the strong arm of the university without which these institutions cannot function. Where the treatment of lecturers is poor, this weakness, this weakens their moral, their morale and their performance suffers. What measures have you put in place to ensure that administrative procedures support constructive progress? For example, suspension of lecturers' salaries must be well justified. Lecturers' duties for extra hours, supervision, Sitting fees for defenses are paid. Lecturers teaching in their domain of uh, specialization for quality. I would like to know the basis for appointments in higher education. It seems the quality factor is being compromised in the bid to address regional balance. 
Is there a way this can be addressed so as to ensure dedication, commitment without conflict of interest to address the, the major goal of the university? Mr. Minister, the university is the cradle for human capital development. If there are any lapses in the functioning of the universities, then this country might run the risk of having to face a shortage of innovative manpower in the medium and long term. That is my question. Thank you.